Well, it looks like the leaks of the upcoming RTX 2000 series may be a bit harder to get a hold of than in the past thanks to information from Kyle Bennett of Hard OCP. Now think what you will of Kyle, but he's been breaking news for years that turns out to be true more than anyone would like to admit. And his exposure of the GeForce Partner program sometime back possibly led to some of these changes. A key difference in the launch of the 20 series over the 10 series is that there's a simultaneous launch of AIB partner cards along with the NVIDIA made Founders Edition cards. And because of that, NVIDIA is not the only company sending out samples of video cards to the press and influencers. But they are, however, the only ones sending out the proper drivers. And that's where the multi-year NDA comes into play. See, if you want the proper drivers to test the card on, you have to sign the NDA to be given permission to log into their encrypted site to get said drivers. Otherwise, you're left out in the cold when it comes to getting accurate results. Of course, by this point, NVIDIA will have a nice little database of everyone reviewing cards based on the Turing architecture. Because, according to the article, they're inquiring all of that information from the AIBs before the cards go out. Who's reviewing it? What's their mailing address? And their phone number. I seriously doubt they'll be sending the men in black out to get them if they leak, but it'll be likely they'll know who did it in any case. To read even deeper into this topic, make sure you follow the link in the description below to head over onto Hard OCP and give it a good read. Kyle does a good breakdown of everything that he knows about this NDA. We are, however, reaching out to AIBs in hopes to bring you guys at least a post-launch review and to have the cards on hand for future game launch testing. Besides, from my experience, pre-launch review work is kind of a messy, buggy drag. Now, to keep the, just keep this in mind, however, as leaks that we do uncover may be running on garbage drivers. We'll have to wait till the full release to find out whether that's the case or not. However, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell notification so that we don't miss you in the next one.